right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Choi. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh! Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the top. Beautiful takedown land. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If the opponent does not change something, you will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two on the way. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by the Korean Super Bowl. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole... Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, man, this ground and pound is killed. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick. Blocks the shot. Three minutes now to go in round two. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands with a right hand. He has a commitment to pick it right in the show. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Go we'll finish this fight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Straight right hand now just misses. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Now all in a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotation high crunch take us right. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so we'll follow time now. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's done. He's done. Oh, straight right. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, so a nice combination sets up the takedown there. He is not a one-trick pony mixing up the martial arts group for tonight. He may have started as a wrestler, but you see now the finished product as he's able to throw those beautiful punches to set up his takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet now. Straight right, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Single collar tie now. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. That was a thud of leg kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. It's with that strike. Right. Right. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta Ready? admire the stamina that both Ready? of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight. And there he is all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rangliata calls a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably...